Hello everybody, this is Julie Bean with Beetaholic, and we are gonna do a really pretty romantic earring. So this one I really like because it starts out super simple and you can keep it really simple. So we've got this pretty little dangle we've created with a prestige heart bead and a prestige crystal pearl. And then we've got these beautiful nun design findings as well. Now, what kind of elevates this design is a little bit of wire wrapping we're gonna do along the stem of the earring here. So I really love this. I'm gonna to start to do this a lot more because I think it just adds such a nice, delicate touch to it. And it's not very hard to do. Um, but you could, you could keep this earring very simple and just do the little heart dangle. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like first so you can see what that would be like but we are gonna do in the video the wire wrapping. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your findings. So the findings are the earring hook. This is by Nun Design. It's a really interesting shape. And you're going to need a head pin. I'm also using a Nun Design so the finish matches. So if you look at this, you'll see that it is an antique silver and it's kind of a matte antique silver. So I'm gonna use the matching findings. Then I'm gonna be using this really pretty little heart bead. You can see how that sparkles and a peach pearl. So if you are watching this in 2024, the Pantone color of the year is peach fuzz. So we're incorporating a peach element into our design so that this is very on trend. But of course, peach is a great neutral. It's a great romantic color. So you would be able to use this any year, any season. Of course, it's just a really pretty romantic soft design. Then we're gonna be using these seed beads. This is a milky peach. So we're gonna be using those as well. So those are our basic supplies. Oh yes, and 26 gauge wire, about eight inches per earring. Our toolkit is our basic one that we always use. We've got a wire looping plier. You could do round nose if you'd prefer. A pair of chain nose that are fine. So this is a really nice tapered uh, slim nose one. And then another pair of chain nose pliers and a cutter. So pretty basic, your standard tools that we tend to use in almost every video. And then you've got your pretty supplies. I'm gonna clear the tools away first so that we have a little bit less clutter on our table. And we will start first by cutting our wire. So like I mentioned, you're going to want about eight inches. So you're just gonna cut that off the spool with your snips. So that wire is now done. We're gonna go ahead and make a little pile of beads for ourselves. So we're just going to take the lid off. We're only using, I think it was seven, I'll recount, but I think it's seven beads per earring. So I'm only going part way up the stem. I don't want it too close to where it actually sits in your ear because I don't want it to be uncomfortable. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves an earring. All right, so we're gonna put our wire aside for a minute and we are going to make our little dangle first because I do wanna show you what this earring would look like without the wire wrapping. So really simple to do. This is a pretty basic here. We're just gonna go ahead and put on the little bead followed by a pearl and slide it down like so. And these are actually done now, so we don't need all of those. And now we're gonna make a loop. I'm gonna do a wrapped wire loop and I'm gonna do it with enough space that I can do several wrappings as you see in the sample here because I'm kind of going with that wrapped theme of the earring because it's got the wire wrapping up here. So that's why I chose to do a wrapped wire loop. Okay, so you just grab it and you have a little gap right there. So what you're gonna do is just have it between the nose of your pliers with that little gap and that little gap is where you're going to do your wrappings and squeeze and the wire looping plier does some of the work for you bend it down rotate it up and crisscross now what i like to do is sometimes i hold it in my plier as i'm doing my wrappings and sometimes i don't i don't know <laughs> it's whatever i'm in the mood for um Okay, so now we've got it like this and we're just gonna do our wrappings with our fingers. So we're just wrapping that wire around and around and around. And I was able to get three good wraps in there. You can do more or less. And then we're just going to trim it. And then what we need to do is we don't want it to scratch us. So we're gonna go back with our pliers and we're going to tuck that end in. So to tuck it in, all you do is you just squeeze it like this gently. And it's that rough little wire that we just cut. 
So we're just gonna squeeze that inward so it kind of stays tucked within the wrapping and it's not gonna scratch your skin. But here is our finished little dangle. And I'm gonna put that on the earring hook first so you can see what it is. Now, sometimes these earring hooks come where there's not that big of a gap. You see here, this one has a little bigger gap. You can just stretch it out. It's just wire. There you go. Okay. And now to put this on, there's a little loop at the base and you just open it up, slide it on. And that's what this earring, and then you would close it up. I'm gonna take it off here so I can do my wire wrappings, but I did wanna show you what it would look like without the wraps. Okay, so we're gonna put that guy aside. He's gonna be ready for us with the next step. I am gonna go back and close up this loop just because I don't want it to get tangled in my wrappings. And now we can do our wire wrapping. To do your wire wrapping, really easy to do actually. You've got your wire, it's about eight inches, which is probably too much, but that's okay. Um, you're going to lay it against your hook where you want it to start. And let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have seven beads. So gonna get my beads ready, let me clear this away. Okay, so you want it to start right here above your loop. You want a little tail. That little tail you're gonna trim off eventually, but it's gonna help you hold on to it so it doesn't slip. So I'm holding the loop and I'm holding the tail and I'm going around and I just kind of tucked in from here so I could get into the midsection and around. And I'm gonna do a good five or six wraps right here. And I'm gonna to try to make them as tight together as I can. And I'm just kind of snagging in and around that hook. So I keep going on the inside. This is 26 gauge wire, which is nice and soft and easy to work with. All right, so I've got my little spirals right there. And you can see there's a little gap right here. If we look really closely, you can try to tighten that up right now, but this also can slide. So I could just push it down towards the end. So that is the beginning. Now I'm gonna go back to my original earring because this is a matched pair. I want it to be pretty similar and kind of make sure that my wrappings are pretty close to looking like each other. Okay, so they are. So now we're ready to add our first bead. To add your first bead, just go ahead and take your wire and use it like a needle and pick up one of your beads. Let it slide all the way down. And now you're gonna help it. Let me move my tools out of the way. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna have it rest on top of the earring hook on the outside. So I just kind of pushed it up there and I'm holding it in place. Now I'm gonna do a wrap and I'm still holding that little bead in there. And I'm gonna go up and over and up and over again. And that is our first little bead on there. So you can kind of see how those wrappings are looking. Okay, we're gonna add another one. And we wanna add a total of seven of these. So I just used it as a needle. It came and it slid on down and we're just gonna kind of push it where we need it to go. And oh, around and around. And it's really important that you do that twice because otherwise it's going to be too floppy right there. So we've got two. And you will just keep doing this until you have all of them on. So again, here we go. Around and around. And now you've got three. So you'll do that until you have seven. All right, a little movie magic. We have our seven on there now. And we've still got our tail. So what you do to finish this off is you are going to just do more wrapping. So remember we did about six wrappings down here, five or six, you're gonna do the same up here. So you're just doing your wrappings without adding any more beads. And you're just trying to make them as close together as you can. And remember it's only wire, so you can definitely scooch it if you need to. All right, so once you've done that, you're going to bring your tail around and now you're going to trim your tail. So trim it as absolutely close to the wire as you can and then go in with your pliers and really try to squish that end down. OK, 
kind of, I, I'm pinching it is what I'm doing. So I'm pinching it down and I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna scoot these down a little bit and I'm gonna go do the same thing over here. I'm going to trim this tail and then you see that little wire? This one's poking up. If we can see that, it's poking up a little. So we're going to pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. There we go. And now it's not poking up anymore. To finish our earring, we are just going to open up our little loop again and slip on our little dangle charm that we made. And close up our little loopy. Well, let me make sure, yep, is that guy on right? Yes, okay. Okay, we're done, hooray! So here's our earring with that delicate, delicate little extra that we did for the weaving. So, or not the weaving, but the wire wrapping. So there is our finished heart earring. It's our, our sweet little earrings here, and we've got the matched pair. And that was pretty quick and easy to make. It didn't take that long, but I, I do like the wire wrapping. So it's a consideration if you wanna add just a little something extra. And these hooks by Nun Design are so great for being able to do that too. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can view a lot more tutorials over at beataholic.com or subscribe to this YouTube channel. We have hundreds and hundreds, maybe even, I know we have over a thousand, maybe over 2000 videos at this time, I'd have to check, but a ton of jewelry making knowledge that we love to share. Thank you everyone, have a great rest of your day. Thanks, bye.